This video discusses the signs, symptoms, and treatment suggested for low blood sugar, or what healthcare professionals refer to as hypoglycemia. What is it, and why is it important to know about hypoglycemia? People who have diabetes may need to take oral medication or inject their insulin in order to control and maintain healthy blood sugar levels. One of the side effects of effectively managing diabetes with these medications, and especially if you are injecting insulin, can cause too low of a blood sugar when blood sugar levels fall below 70 milligrams per deciliter, although some people may experience low blood sugar at higher levels, such as 80 or 90 milligrams per deciliter. Others may call it hypoglycemia, insulin shock, or an insulin reaction. What causes low blood sugar? This can be caused by taking your diabetes medication and then forgetting to eat, or delaying your meal too long from taking your medication. Or when eating, not eating enough carbohydrates, like starches, fruits, and milk. Too much activity, or drinking too much alcohol. The signs and symptoms of someone who is having a low blood sugar can occur in a matter of minutes. You may feel dizzy, persistent sweating and feeling cold and clammy, confusion, vision changes. If not treated, this will worsen to behavior and or mood changes, unexplained anger, or can even be combative. If not treated, hypoglycemia can result in passing out, convulsions, or seizures. How to treat hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. First, if you can try to check your blood sugar to see what the level is, you should. But if you are not able to, you may need to just eat or drink a form of quick-acting sugar immediately, such as three to four glucose tablets, one to two ounces of sugar gel in a tube, a half a can of regular soda or a soft drink with sugar, four ounces of any fruit juice, crushed fruit like applesauce, eight ounces of any milk, or three sugar packets. Now, if you can test your blood sugar again in about 10 to 15 minutes, and if the result is still under 70 milligrams per deciliter, then you may need to have another 15 grams of carbohydrate by repeating the previous treatment, checking your sugar again after 10 to 15 minutes you should start to feel better 10 to 15 minutes after treating your low blood sugar. You should stop treatment once the blood sugar level is above 70 milligrams per deciliter. Remember, try not to continue eating or drinking only until you feel better, since doing this may cause your blood sugar to rise too much and for hours after having the low blood sugar. Once blood sugar levels are above 70 milligrams once again, and if it's not around the time of your usual meal, you may want to have a snack or your meal that includes some protein and carbohydrates, such as starches, fruit, or milk. This will help to maintain healthy glucose levels and prevent the low blood sugar from coming back. Don't forget to report frequent low blood sugar reactions to your doctor, especially if they are happening frequently. Some of your diabetes medication or insulin dosages may need to be changed. If you would like further information about hypoglycemia, please ask your primary nurse or diabetes educator. We have information we can print or provide to you to help answer any questions or concerns you may have. Having diabetes is not always easy, but educating a person about the disease and your specific management plan is essential. We want to make sure you are confident about what you need to do once you are discharged home. For questions or concerns about your diabetes or any nutrition concern or diagnosis, please call our Outpatient Diabetes and Nutrition Education Center, located conveniently around the corner from the hospital at the Davis Therapy Center, or by calling 561-955-2100. Let us help you maintain a healthy lifestyle. Because good health is important to everyone, your good health is always important to us.